stopped at that restaurant on the way here. When I went in the bathroom, there was this guy laid out on the floor with a, a bag next to him. It was full of money. What are they listen up! There's a bag full of money out there with our name on it. And I want it. What are we gonna do? Now tell me, where's the money? Looks good. Well, that was a clip from Gang Money Run. It's an independent action film that was made right here in San Antonio. And here to tell us all about it are the writer and director, Scott Lissick, producer Brandon Almas, and with them is Sandra Nori, who plays Mrs. Salinas, one of the actresses in the film. Welcome, guys. Thank you, Bridget. It's Thank good you. to have you. You know what? Anytime we can talk about projects that are done in and around San Antonio using local talent, Filmmakers, actors, directors, actresses. It's exciting. Exactly. Let's yeah. talk a little bit about this film, Scott. Well, it's a romantic action drama. Um, it's about, basically, it's about this guy who wants to be a musician. Yeah. And he, he goes to a border town, he finds a bag of money, and he thinks he's hit the jackpot. Along the way, he gets chased by a hitman, uh, a border town gang, mm -hmm. and he falls for a girl. I, I was going to say, somewhere <laughs> in the story, yes, there's a, a girl. woman has to there be involved. A woman. Because a woman <laughs> always changes the narrative, doesn't she? And she does, Absolutely. and he uses this whole experience, this crazy adventure he goes on, he uses it as a momentum to do what he wants to do. He wants to be a musician, and at the end, that's where he's at. He's, now, he's being a musician. Now, of course, Brandon, we bring you into this story because making a film like this, we talked about, you really utilized the beauty of this city to do it. Where did you shoot this, and how long did it take? We sure did. Scott came into our office, into the Mutt Productions office, with uh, my partners, Aaron Lee Lopez and Mario Sanchez, and, and we filmed this movie uh, around the city, uh, and we were able to utilize all the resources that the city of San Antonio uh, um, has for uh, local filmmakers. And, and places we might great. recognize or areas yes, we might know, definitely. Brandon? Um, or is that kind of obscure, right? Well, it was supposed story? to be a border town feel, and gotcha. we tried to hide the, you know, the tower and all that. But gotcha. you'll see it in. in you'll definitely shots. recognize yeah. it. You, you will recognize we, yes. certain areas of town. Now, I, I want to bring in uh, Sandra here because this is this is where the woman enters the story. Well, and tell us who you play. Well, my character is Mrs. Salinas, uh -huh. and she's a single mother trying to raise her granddaughter while Mercedes, the leading la lady, which is her daughter works like odd hours and try to make ends meet and they both like struggle a lot with feelings of abandonment and they have a bunch of broken dreams but at the same time have a very strong bond that keeps mm -hmm. the family going so she's more like a voice of reason character mm -hmm. like they I told you so kind of mother that unfortunately is always right yeah one of the things we love so much about stories like this is the theme of family struggle adversity love all of it comes into play does it not it does it does that's that's what this story is about it, it is about the struggle of, of you know following your dreams and doing what you want to do mm -hmm. and yes there's this crazy adventure there's this bag of money you know life-changing experience but yeah that's what it's about it's about family it's about no, yeah, it's together. also a lot of fun. Too. It's, a, it's, it's a, a fun ride. It's, it's exactly. really right as it, it were. Now we ride. actually have a clip. Can you tell us what we're about to see? Uh, this clip is uh, uh, where the characters uh, have come. They spent the night together, and uh, the hitmen have broken into uh, her apartment. Uh -oh. and, and so let's see what Mercedes happens is surprised to see her at, at her home. Okay, let's watch. Her mother's home. Police. What's going on, Mia? Nothing, mom. Nothing. Policia? ¿En qué andas metida ahora? Mother, calm down. It's gonna be okay, okay? Just don't worry about it. We have it under control. Don't you tell me not to worry. We'll talk later. <sighs> Did they follow you? No, no, I, I lost him when I jumped off your balcony. You jumped off my balcony? Yeah. <sighs> you don't have the money. We really are doing great work in terms of film in, in the city of San Antonio. And I want to point out, for, for those watching who don't know, Brandon, you are the son of uh, famed actor Edward James mm -hmm. Almost. So you have lived and been around the film community. I want to ask you guys what you think about um, the initiatives that are now uh, sort of taking center stage where we really want the city to say, let's support our film community. Where are we on that and how, how positive are we that something's going to be done? I think we are in a, in a good spot. There is a, a, a huge effort underway to try to uh, change things here to, you know, with the incentives that were uh, mm -hmm. uh, taken away from the state level. They're trying to bring it more uh, to a San Antonio. And I know uh, you guys would love to see that happen. That's right, right because we, there, there's, there's, uh, I, I'm involved with, with, uh, with a, uh, 
my, my, my brother who's out in California and we're, we're making, we just made another movie here in Texas called The Green Ghost and we want to bring more movies here into Texas and yes. San Antonio and Austin area. And the only way to do that would be for the state to uh, gotta have the support. help us yes. You've yeah. just a have little bit. Because we actually think of it as uh, job development. You know, yes. we hire a lot of people. We hired 25 people on the crew of this movie right here. Exactly. And Working actors, actresses, grip, Correct. production, a lot of people. This was a micro-budget indie, indie film mm -hmm. that has a Hollywood look to it, thanks to it a It absolutely does. Yes. Well, we thank you all so much for sharing a clip you. of thank Gang you. Money Run. Now, the premiere is happening on Tuesday, July 14th at the Santicos Palladium at the IMAX. 7.30 is the start time. Go out and support our local uh, talent. Now, you can also get this on Redbox, so when you're laying around on Saturday night, you don't have anything to do. Gang Money Run. Rent yep. it. Watch it. Coming Thank out. you. Yep. Yes. All right, Thank everybody. You much. Thank you so much. Well, it is Prize Week on Great Day SA, and we told you that every 10 minutes we'd be giving away prizes, and I think we've got a cinematic-sized giveaway sure right now. I tell you what, after, the, after seeing the trailer and all that, everybody's excited to see the movie, so we've got four tickets to go see Gang Money Run next Tuesday at the Palladium. So call now, 946-GDSA, 946-4372, fifth caller, and you get to go see a fun movie. So, all right.